Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. And welcome back to Nerd News Today. And this time, it's time for something completely different. Yeah. Something kind of happy. As opposed to what we normally do here, which is miserable. You said it, not me. I, I didn't. I, 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 I was something you were alluding to, I thought. N- n- no, I was talking about something that, you know, ins- it's inspiring. It, it's very, I don't know, positive. Oh, I don't like those things. Believe me, I think we all know that by now. I'm talking about the Bob Ross Joy of Cereal. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a cereal tasting today. This is different. Yes, yes, yes it is, but it's just so us. So where did you get this thing from? So this is an FYE exclusive. They have a lot of interesting interesting cereals. Um, it's where I've gotten my Bootios fix, because mm. I did enjoy those. They have a lot of the Funko cereals, and then they had this. The Bob Ross cereal. The Bob Ross joy of cereal. And there he is right there, all happy and... Mm-hmm. And this is actually a really cool kind of idea. And also a little capitalizing on the whole Bob Ross nostalgia. Case in point. But you know, I, I I like the vibe. I like what they're trying to do here. I mean, it's basically Lucky Charms, but with Bob Ross inspired marshmallows. Which oddly enough actually kind of fits for a change. Exactly. Yeah. I, mean, it, I feel like this is something Bob Ross would kind of go for. The types of marshmallows that we have, we'll show them to you once we get them out. But we have Happy Little Trees, Happy Little Accidents, Almighty Mountains, Guiding Stars, Rainbow Hearts, Charming Little Cabins, and Lovely Little Bushes. The only thing I'm a little disappointed in is that we don't have any fluffy clouds. Yeah, that's a surprise. There's no fluffy clouds in this. They were so fluffy and, you know, you just take your palette and... I'm assuming you guys all know who Bob Ross is, but just in case, I realize we should probably tell them who Bob Ross is. For those of you who don't know, Bob Ross was a painter. He had a show on PBS. Turns out a lot of people used to watch him um, after school and on weekends. And he was just very soothing and calming. And he did all these beautiful lands, you know, landscapes in a way that was kind of easily digestible. And he was always a very positive, positive person. You can make a finished oil painting in 30 minutes, which is really impossible except for Bob Ross. I know, like how did he do that? Very simple, efficient techniques that made everything just look photorealistic. But at the same time, it was just like the kind of techniques where it's not like you're nudging over each little detail. It's True. broad strokes and he had it really Work down to a science. Yeah. The box itself is, as you can see, it has a picture of the marshmallows on one side, nutritional stuff on the other side. It is low in sugar compared to other cereals. And has zero cholesterol. Nice. Seven grams of sugar, zero cholesterol. Come on. Well, who wouldn't want a, c- a cereal like that? I mean, sure, people who want to eat healthier, but still, it's still really good com- considering. And on the back, which I think is just adorable. It is a positivity paint palette. Try saying that five times fast. But yeah, it's just really cute. You can cut it out, um, stick your thumb in it. You can't paint it with it. But it has these really nice, colorful Bob Ross quotes. I'm not gonna read them all, but a couple of them. You have to have dark in, in order to show light, just like in life. You can move mountains, rivers, trees. You can determine what your world is like. But my personal favorite of the batch is, let's go crazy, what the heck? Take a two inch brush, this is your bravery test. I don't know why it's our bravery test because I don't know what a two, what the difference between a two inch brush and like a three inch, four inch brush is other than size. Well, there you go. I think you just figured it out. <laughs> yeah, but what? The, yeah, but I don't know how it works when you're painting. <laughs> when you're painting, I don't know the difference. Well, that's why you're a cereal eater and not a painter. So I guess we might as well just open it up. Would you like to do the honors? No, I think you should do it. It's your box of cereal. This is the journey that you must take with Bob Ross alone. Then why are you here? I'm here to eat cereal. I just came to eat. I I saw a box of cereal and then you were like, hey, you want to eat some cereal? I was like, yeah, free cereal. (laughs) Yeah. I try and be nice. You want to make with the cereal now? Because it's not going to eat itself. Got a spoon ready. (laughs) You sure you don't want to help out? You know, maybe make it a part of the journey? Well, I guess since you opened it already, I'll just go ahead and open the rest of this up. And, uh, ooh, look at the cereal in there. Look at that. I don't really smell anything when you open the box, though, which is Can I take probably a look? good and probably, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. This kind of reminds me of, like, Alphabets. And I don't really know if Alphabets has an odor to it, to be honest, because I don't really eat it. So I have no idea what it does or does not smell like. I smell cardboard. Yeah, so I think we have to just go ahead and pour it out and, uh, okay. enjoy it. Cereal, please. <laughs> Make it rain. Cereal, that is. That's 
probably way more than we need, but yeah. Yeah, well, I'm gonna enjoy the cereal. Keep my turn. Make it rain. All right. Remember, you gotta eat all that. It's not that much. And we're not gonna eat it all on camera. We're not? Not on camera! Look how pretty it looks, all the marshmallows. Let's, let's actually take a nice look at those marshmallows, in fact. Um, I agree. The marshmallows always look different once they're out of the box. Yes. And uh, let's, so, so what are they supposed to actually look like? I mean, it looks okay. like they're actually pretty accurate to what the box has. I mean, let's see, like, here's the, uh, here's a happy little tree, which is blue, which is odd, but it actually looks pretty much like it shows in the box. Um, yeah, I ha have some happy little accident. <laughs> I have a happy little accident right here, and... Yeah, basically, I mean, the colors are a little different, but that's because they kind of exaggerate on the box. Uh, I've got a rainbow heart, which, so my heart doesn't quite look like a rainbow heart. It's more like yeah. a rainbow triangle, triangle. but uh, <laughs> still still pretty close. I'll and give it that much. here is um, an almighty mountain. I think this... Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go. No, I mean, it's it's actually pretty much what the box shows. That's impressive. Yeah, um, I don't know. Oh, you have a star. I'm just going to take that. And yeah, the star is a star. I mean, that's fairly easy to get, but yeah, it's a star. <laughs> <laughs> all, all we have left are... Lovely little bushes. Lovely little bushes, which are right here and not really bush-shaped. No, not at all, but also that kind of helps make sure that it looks like what it's supposed to look like. That's true. And finally, the charming little cabins, oh. which looks like... They look like crowns. Looks like the fire plant for Mario. It does. Okay, now that my fingers are all sticky with marshmallow, I'm gonna try one. Or two. Melts in your mouth. It's like your classic cereal marshmallow. It really is. It's nice sugary aftertaste, but not um, very sugary. It just tastes like a soft marshmallow. It still have to, has the sweetness, but it's not obnoxiously sweet. I kind of like it. I think it's been the difference between these cereals versus like General Mills or Kellogg's. Mm -hmm. and for whatever reason, there tends to be less sugar in these. And I really like them. Granted, yeah, they're novelty cereals, but I kind of feel like this is definitely geared more towards adults. But I also think kids could enjoy this because it has that sugary yum that they're accustomed to and they're the oats yeah let's go ahead and try an oat bit mm. i like this actually very oaty yes it's very very oaty but i like it i do too it sort of reminds me of a cheerio mm, i was thinking that too but yeah better i don't know if i'd agree with that but they're firmer than cheerios that's amazing. Texturally, they're, they're firmer than a cheerio yeah I, I i think i like the texture of the cheerio but i think i like the flavor better. They do have small shapes. They come in triangles and squares. Now I guess it's time to eat it properly and... Yes, we're gonna see how it is with the milk in it because that's, you know, how most people eat it now. I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm gonna eat it dry, but I normally would eat it with like rice milk or something similar for us. One of the things I like about these cereals is that, yes, you can eat them and have them with milk and everything, but to be honest, I'm okay with just kind of having them as a random little snack. Yeah. Dry. These are snackable and easy to handle. Yeah. Okay, time to go in with the milk though. Not bad. So does the milk enhance the flavors at all of it? Mm. It makes me nostalgic. Because one of the things I always loved about Lucky Charms is when you have the milk on it, it gets soft and the texture changes just a little bit. And I've always loved that weird texture. Otherwise, mm, not, not really. Uh, I think it's fine both ways. The cereal bit softened almost immediately. And it's not soggy soft, but it is soft. I kind of like that. It all goes together well. If you had any cereal ever with marshmallows in it, then you pretty much know what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. But um, this is a little bit more toned down than your mm -hmm. typical sugary Saturday morning cereals. I feel like this is a cereal that adults can eat and not feel too guilty about. It's fun, it's silly. I'm not saying go get tons of boxes because to be honest, it's kind of expensive. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun little trip down memory lane. So that's our tasting of the Bob Ross Joy of Cereal cereal, mm -hmm. which you can find at your FYE stores if you have one near you. Or find it online. So overall, mm -hmm. I think they like the cereal a lot. It's pretty yeah. good, actually. It's surprisingly good. Like, it's not just a novelty. It actually is edible and tasty. The price point was um, $12.99, I believe. Which is expensive for cereal. Yeah. Funko, Bootios, they, they were all around that um, price. Funko at least comes with a little pop. The Bootios did not. This does not, other than the cool novelty box. So I don't know if I exactly think that it's worth that much. So the price is a little hard to swallow, but the cereal is. isn't. Exactly. That's a good bite right there. I would say for a one-time thing, definitely give it a try. It's a good cereal. So I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. That's our look at the Bob Ross Joy cereal. Cereal, find it at FYE stores. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go finish our cereal. We'll see you guys next time with some more maybe food reviews, toy reviews, and everything else we do here in Nerd News Today. Yeah. And remember, you don't make mistakes, you make happy little accidents. Bon appetit.